Greetings. Today we will be testing this armor, which is chainmail. It's not done yet, but it's done enough that I can actually test it. It's an 8-in-1 weave of 16-gauge galvanized steel wire rings that are 3 eighths of an inch in diameter. Interior diameter. I'm not sure what the outer diameter is because I've never bothered to measure it. I've got this stand for it, and we're going to be testing it against this arrow, which I made myself, along with the chainmail. It has a five inch, well, three inches of tip, and two inches inside the shaft itself. Some two three by five mangled index cards as fletching, though they still work pretty well, and a half inch diameter, three foot oak dowel as the shaft itself. We will also be firing these fiberglass arrows of an unknown length, and they're kind of crappy. Fiberglass arrows should be fired from this bow. My arrow will be fired from this bow. Ooh, whoops. Which gives it sig a significant amount of power. So. Let's get testing. This is a huge arrow. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, we have penetration, but it didn't stay in. Now, that's a very small hole. Only a few of the rings are irreparably mangled. Most of them, I think, will survive, and I'll be able to fix this with relative ease. That's a good thing, because I don't want to spend ages fixing this. I can fit my thumb through there. That's... That might... might kill. Probably just hurt. A lot. And it didn't damage the tip too much. Which is nice. Alright. Now. Shall we test the other arrows? Or give this one another try? Let's try this one again. Alright then. I'd prefer not to shoot it with this one too many times because I don't want to fix it that much. Let's have another go. Yeah, this fletching is getting mangled. See, every time I let go of the string, before the arrow actually starts moving, the string hits the fletching and mangles the whole entire thing. Which is not terribly good. Let's see if I can't hit it too much. Same basic result. Maybe a little bit smaller hole here. Let's see. Let's get some of these dead rings out. Yeah, it forced these guys wide open. That's because these rings were only butted and not riveted or welded. If this had been riveted or welded, I don't know how it would have held up against these. Probably much better. Because it would have had to actually break the metal itself. Which it doesn't seem to have done for any of these. Now, let's give it a try with the smaller bow, shall we? Alrighty. This thing is puny. That'll hurt, but we looks like we have zero penetration. I can't stick anything through there. Give another one a try. Oh, whoops. I hit the stand. I hit the stand. Oh. Thought I saw some irregularities over here. Nope. Yeah, it makes oh, a, yeah, I didn't makes a pretty that, little hole. Um, 
This is actually, this part under the armpits is a different weave. It's 6-in-1 versus 8-in-1. Because the 8-in-1 is very strong, but doesn't give me enough, enough flexibility for the joints. But 6-in-1 is still decently strong and gives me enough flexibility. It's like cloth. More like cloth. Ooh. These tips are getting angry. I'm saying that a lot today. Well, let's give this another try. Oh, and then maybe we can bring out my plate mail. And shoot that. That'll destroy these arrows. He made some plate mail, too. Dang it! I'll give that another try, and I'll actually hit the armor this time. See if that's even possible. There, there you go. go. Let's see. Down hit here. the armor again. And looks like we have just about as much penetration as with the last one. <laughs> Wanna wrap this up for now? Um, yes, I suppose we can wrap it up for now. Something you want to say to finish? Chainmail man in action. <laughs>